least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. <laughs> hey, all the horses untethered? Big show. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're going to buy a breakfast in the morning. Are you trying to kill those horses? You don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards roads. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Too fast, Arthur. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Cause I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Hey, slow down a bit. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. Slow down. A right barrel of laughs. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Right. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Hey! All right! Get on that train! Faster! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. make sure ah. get shot! I'm not a Go! Bad man. Everything you got! Money! Valuable! I am adverse to conflict, my dear. There you go. Let's make this quick, please, people! Come please. on! We don't even tell this bag's full! Don't help me! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Honey, pay him! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the bag, God, everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. You better than this. I want to count to three. One, two. It ain't worth dying over. Please Tell him, Mr. M. Damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. I Thank you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You boys Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Right, Jack. Tough guy, huh? Please. You sure about that? You're wasting our time. You huh? show this Quick, son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. I got anything. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. White money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I am adverse to conceit, my I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There'll be something in here after. Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We're looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more of them torn enough. Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Oh, shit! Coming in on home! 
That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. with a bullet. If you're gonna be like that, I'll head off, okay? You just keep on your way now.
James? Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. 
You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. feeling about things now what things this place the gang been here a few weeks now good i think better i figured more folks would have cut and run on us given everything that happened like dutch always says a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains he does like to hey let's keep it down now we must be close that must be the place up ahead we should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can. Then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Your father home, son. Sure is. Get him down. Please get him down. I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave.
Get on, Arthur. We don't have time to mess around here. Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Here. Shit, there's a man. Come on. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. Damn it, going for the law. Do something. I guess he can't tell the law now. Okay, let's get going. Yeah. We could have done this without killing anyone. It worked out. We got everything we needed. Slow it down a bit. That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? We could deal with them, too. All right. Fine, it's done now. Let's just get back to Emerald Branch and turn this in. Yeah. We're gonna crash if you don't slow down. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Okay, hey, slow it down. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Take it easy, Arthur. Damn. Well done, Arthur. Use the range, damn it. So, you hear something strange? Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Easy. Easy, Arthur. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? How are you? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs>